In this video, I just wanted to voucher for an article I found online on how to install APC on XAMPP and maybe just provide a little bit more information about it. Um, basically, I followed this art article by Leonard Austin and it worked fine for me. Um, I'm using a XAMPP stack and I, I'm using PHP 5.3.8. And um, basically, we're gonna go to the, you're going to go to this link right here, downloads.php.net slash Pierre. And there's going to be two links here towards the top. Um, there's PHP APC 3.1 and then one ends with 5.4-vc9 and the other ends with 5.3-vc9. Uh, uh, so you're going to you know choose whichever one depending on your PHP version. So um, I went into my, you know, you'll probably know what your PHP version you have when you download XAMPP, but um, if you didn't and use command line and you used like um, PHP-v, um, sometimes this can uh, not be too accurate because you could have multiple versions of PHP installed on your system. So um, what I just discovered is I went over to my um, I went over to my XAMPP folder and then go into the PHP folder and then I just went to um, PHP.exe and then I right click here and go to properties and then I went to details and it actually tells you in the details you know, inside the XAMPP folder, the PHP version here, um, it's 5.3.8. So um, that's just another way to confirm the uh, PHP version inside your, you know, server bundle like XAMPP or WAMP. Um, so I know I'm using 5.3.8. And then um, basically when you, uh, let's just go back to the browser here. When you download the folder there, um, you're going to get, uh, if I can find it here, I think it's on my desktop. Um, there's going to be two folders here. There's NTS, which in includes the DLL, and then also TS, uh, that includes the DLL. Now, I'm not sure what these stand for, but um, basically one of them will work for you and one of them won't. So I think I started with the NTS one and I, I followed all the instructions and it didn't work. And then I tried it again uh, and I pasted it in the one from TS and then it did work. So um, if it doesn't, if you're following the instructions and one of them didn't work, just try pasting the other one in and um, that should work for you. You'll also need to go into your php.ini file and add this extension here. And we can see that um, actually I'm using the older XAMPP version right now. So I'll actually just have to, um, you know, go over there manually, but go into htdocs here, sorry, the XAMPP folder, and then we'll go to um, the PHP folder and then I'll open up um, php.ini and then you just scroll down scroll down here until you get to um, all of the extensions and you'll see here I have uh, extension I, I added this line here extension equals php apc.dll and make sure there's no comment in front of it and um, when that's added in there and you have the right DLL then you should be able to restart Apache and it will work. Another thing it says in the article here is that um, you need to go into your http.conf folder or sorry the comp file which is in apache slash comp folder and then change all occurrences of allow override none to allow override all. I'm not sure if this is necessary or not. I think what you can do um, is you can try all of these things first and then restart apache and then see if um, apc is working. Um, but if that doesn't work then uh, you know, you could follow his suggestion here to change all of these allow overrides from none to all.